this is going to be where I look. It's in the back of my yard. And as you see, just from the top, you can just do like this. And voila, we have some beautiful red clay just under the surface. So this is where I'm going to start. Okay, so I didn't feel the need to take you through the whole digging and sorting process, but my dirt's in there and I have filled it up with water and I'm going to let my clay soak and I have my drill with my little attachment and I stirred it all up and I'm just going to let it break up and do what it do. I'll be back shortly. Now, after you stir it up, you kind of want to make sure there's no rocks in there. So, I've reached down in here and pretty much I'm squeezing and feeling for rocks and pieces that I don't need. But I must say, I freaking stirred it pretty good. I've already done this part off camera. But I didn't want you guys to not see that part, so this is what I'm doing. See? Rocks. That's a clay. Rocks. Just gonna chuck them back to Mother Earth and let her have her babies back. Okay. But you want to break these little clay balls down. See? That's clay. It's not a rock. That's a rock. So just do this as much as possible. If you have any interest in making clay, you might want to invest in a couple of little sifters. I got this one here, and I also got a flat one that goes over my bucket. But see, while it's settling, you can easily just scoop off. I love the grass because my lawn guy cut grass, and there was grass in my bucket, and I wasn't paying attention. But there's also grass in the dirt, so. You gotta get this off. Okay, it does not have to be perfect and I'll show you why later. Right now it just looks like a nice milky soup. In a couple of hours, it's gonna settle and be clear on top. The water will stay on top. You'll see what I mean in a few. All right, we're back at it, my wonderfuls. So. The top layer of the water was about an inch. I took one of those and sifted it off. You can just dump that. And at this point, I have stirred it. See, it catches any little pieces that are still down in there. And it looks like chocolate milk or ferret poop. So now I will pour this into here and that's what I'm going to do and at that point I let it sit a little while longer to make sure any clay that's in this mixture the sand falls out the clay stays in and then I pour it in my pillowcase okay so I have literally broke everything up poured it through the sifter two or three times stirred it up again and now it is sitting in my bottles and it needs to settle now it's not hot outside right now so it's going to take a while it might take overnight but this one was the first one i did and it's only been about 20 minutes and you can see the water is already separating right here so and this one just a little this one not so much that was the last well that was the second to the last and then I just did this bowl because I cleaned enough to do this much so after a few minutes I will pour these in a pillowcase okay I'm excited <laughs> so I let it sit two hours instead and as you see, 
the clay is settled, the water is at the top. I had a little bit in this bowl too. So instead of using pillowcases like I started to do, I had some old sheer curtains. And what I did was I cut them. Because it says use cheesecloth or pillowcase. And since cheesecloth is just about as thick or thin as a sheer curtain. I cut these and that way I can drain them and hang them. I got my little rubber bands to close it off and then I can always rinse them out and use them all over again. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what you want to do is just carefully drain off the top. Just the clear stuff. I don't want to tilt it too fast because then you lose some of your elements. You're going to lose a little anyway, but it's all right. You get as much as you can out. And you can let it sit a few more minutes if you want while you do the other ones. And you just get that one's kind of flimsy. You get as much as you can out. Because the rest you can just put in your pillowcase cheesecloth. Or in my case, sheer curtain. <laughs> okay, so I have to figure out an easier way to do this. <laughs> like maybe rubber band this over my bucket or something. But once you pour it in here, you just want to squeeze it a little. And that gets the water, a lot of the water out. You don't want to squeeze too much because you don't want to squeeze too much of your clay through the hole, but you do that. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so obviously I cannot hold the camera and do this at the same time. So I'm going to pour this in here. And then I'm going to hang them so they drip dry and my clay will stay in there. Hopefully, if I have any, <laughs> we shall see. But this is what it's supposed to look like when that part's done. This is one I did day before yesterday. I did it in a pillowcase. And I let it dry. It has not been all that hot here yet, so I'm assuming it'll probably dry faster when it gets hot outside. So I had to leave it for two days. But let's see what it looks like. Alrighty, so inside my pillowcase is my sticky clay. Now, see? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not going to pick it up right now, it's really still sticky. But I will find a container to put this in so it doesn't dry out. And I just put a piece of right, a piece of grass on there. Crap. But anyway, that's what you'll have. Pretty clay. Pretty clay. A glob of it. What shall I make? 